the nightmare. Who was it that purged the evil from Equestria? None other than Her Highness Celestia. On the wings of light, she descended from heaven to vanquish the wicked beast from the world. The holy rays of the sun casting the nightmare away to the chains of Tartarus. Now we are all in the grasp of the wicked darkness. And only Celestia can purge this evil from Equestria. Let us pray. I apologize for that. These days it's easy to get wrapped up in all the darkness of the world. But let us not forget. There is no darkness that the light cannot pierce through. Remember this, my congregation. Celestia is with you wherever you go. No matter how deep into the darkness you sink, the light will never leave you. Even when things seem their worst, never forget. There is always hope. Amen.
perhaps this isn't a take in the first place. Some children just don't have the correct upbringing. Parents must neglect them and they turn to drugs, isn't this girl? No discipline. No morality. <laughs> planets because there is no fucking way of communicating with you all. Who the fuck are you people anyway? Hey, who the fuck are ya?
Dag Puffet, this has gone far enough. <laughs>
Mountains are on the wrong path. And then Celestia is on the wrong path. And Equestria. And uh, so is leadership uh, for the uh,
ponies prefer. Everyone just look 
walked away Making your way around my maze You wonder why you even tried But turning left, you're alright now Cause you know your lies will never, ever Together, I feel like we can have some fun We're contemporaries of honesty's grave When web supplies are freshly spun Don't mean ill. Mistake to come here.
Excellent.
and Celestia's name. Amen. Amen. I want to talk to y'all about something real important today. Morality. We've lost our way, friends, both as a culture and a nation. The earth pony way of faith, hard work, and devotion to our goddess, Princess Celestia, has gone asunder. We're in a world of sex and violence, folks. Those ruthless, drugged-up, winged heathens, the pegasi, and those horny, unclean, blasphemous unicorns. Every single one of them are false idols, attempting to be goddess-like. One barren wing, the other barren horn. They worship no god of ours. No, they worship the devil herself, Princess Luna. You may say, Reverend Buck Fulhus, but I'm just a lowly earth pony. I'm nothing like one of them infidels. And I say, nay, the evil is seeped into our precious earth, poisoning our crops. Even our most devoted rock farmers have become psychopathic party animals. This evil must be stopped, and only two things can save us from this horror. Your absolute undying faith to Princess Celestia, and a gracious 90% tithe. Your donations will be used every day to help cleanse the apostates from this goddess blessed land. This is war, folks, and I ain't going down without a fight. Let us pray.
You are physically repulsive, intellectually retarded, vulgar, insensitive, selfish, stupid. You have no taste, a lousy sense of humor, and you smell. Oh God!
Hello.
Take it away, Back on, let's go again.
Today I'm going to show you guys the best MLG sound pack ever created. So let's get started. Shut the fuck up, you Identifying a tree you found here near the gazebo? <laughs> That's a cut! Sweetie Belle, I'm just bigger! <laughs>
Zaterdagmiddag. Het zonnetje scheen, de vrouwen lezen de krant.
vrouw die kwam langs en zei, oké okay, doei. De vrouwen lezen de krant. 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 Oké, doei. De vrouwen lezen de krant. 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 Godverdomme, wat is dit een kutplaats, Maury, please. Oké doei, Audi, 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 het was een rustige zaterdagmiddag. 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 Goed verdomme, Maury, please. Het was een rustige zaterdagmiddag. 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 Him to try to overtake the throne of God. But then when God found out 
God kicked him out. So his name then was Lucifer, but when God kicked him out, it turned to Satan, the devil. And along when he, when he was kicked out, the music was changed also. He no longer worshiped and praised God. It turned to satanic music. It turned to music that blasphemed God. It turned to music that glorified sin. That's why we have separate music, which is really the devil's music. And we have gospel music, which is music that praises God, that comes from God.
sitting down and kneeling. I wish you could just pick a position and fuck me.
tell you something. I like the city that I'm from. It's good. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. It needs a little. Let uh... me bring you back to this to the second part. I don't know. Okay. I think this will go down well. Uh -huh. God told me to look him, and I looked him, and he had a tie on. On the tie had a wolf howling at the moon. And the Lord said to me, "Will you howl for me?" Cindy? Yeah? Could you, um, could you dial the 911 for me, please? <laughs>
Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. I want Jesus, motherfucker. I guess. 
guess that's what she does. I don't know what's about Applejack, but whenever she does that, whenever she just sits down or stands up and she just, you know, looks into the distance, I can just imagine her just saying, Apples. This is just, just Apples. Anyways, back to the story. So, um, Applejack, she, she's like, where the fuck is he? And I'm like, okay, this language is kind of necessary. By the way, I should probably do <laughs> uh, a draw thing. Where the fuck is he? That's the best I can do. But she she finally goes into her house, and then she comes out with Big Mac, and she's like, where the fuck were you? I've been waiting for 15 minutes. And he's like, I've been getting ready. And she, and she was like, well, you better be ready, because this is going to be a long one. And he, and he said, oh, man, this is going to suck. So I'm just like... And then she, and then she says, not as much as me. And I'm like, okay, that's kind of weird, but you know what? So I, I'm just thinking, maybe we're gonna make a pie. I don't know what we're gonna do. So what she does is she, uh, she, she's like, hey, uh, are you ready? Are you ready to feel this pie with cream? And I'm like, okay, apparently we're gonna make an uh, apple pie. And it's out of nowhere, out of nowhere. She just, you know, gets down and starts sucking her brother's uh, member, her, his penis, his big old his shiny uh, black clock. So I'm just like, alright, that's a little weird for you to just, you know, to just suck your eye in front of my face. And she's like, what, do you want to taste? And I'm like, no. And she's like, are you sure? It tastes like apples. So I see that you're fond of apples. And I'm like, no. And then she starts putting her brother's penis inside her vagina. And I'm like, why are you doing that? You can't do that. That's inappropriate. And then she, then she bends over and she takes doggy style. And I'm like, hey, you can't do that. And she grabs a, a giant old dildo and puts it in my butt. And I'm like, hey, don't do that. And I take it out and I throw it. And then I'm like, you know what? I'm out of here. You're gross. Your brother's great. Okay, fine. Let yourself out. And I'm like, I'm not leaving. You leave. And she's like, hey, this is my property. And you get the fuck out of here. And I'm like, okay, I'll leave. And I said, fine. And she said, fine. And she gave me a hug. And then she said, fuck my brother. And that's the story of Adam, Ian, Leave, and Steve. I hope you enjoy it, kids. And remember, if you do anything bad, God's gonna take a pole and stick it up your ass and shove you down to hell. Or Satan, he'll be there to spit on your butthole and put his penis in it. A good night. <laughs>
That is the smallest one I've ever seen. <laughs> Go grab the lube.
I have to decide between this red flower and this blue flower, but I don't know which one to choose. What do you think, ruler ruler high four seeker four seeker? <laughs>
from a...
following mix contains moments of utter Oh, uh-huh. 
this audio hypnosis tape. With this tape, you will be able to become a pony and visit Equestria. Part 1. Becoming a Pony On this trip to become a pony, you will hear various noises, sounds, tones, and other audio experiences that may be alien to you. Remain calm during this process or it may damage your physical and mental being. You feel your nose elongate. Your mouth follows with. Your eyes widen. Your hair elongates down your back. Your ears perk up into a point. Your neck contorts backwards across your back. You feel top heavy and fall forward onto all fours. Your hands and feet merge. Your hands feel heavy. Your fingers merge together to fists. They form hooves. A single large fingernail which hardens or hoof is complete. Your teeth widen to large grinders meant for wheat, grass, and apples. No longer will you be able to eat. widen into a large curve. All this while your body shrinks, your body shrinks, your body turns into a large curve. yourself. Between your legs you form a vagina which merges with your anus. Your skin. Your skin turns on. Your hair becomes a lush blonde. Above your anus grows a beautiful tail. sister, known as Apple Bloom. You are Applejack. You are Applejack. You have five friends that live in the nearby town. Pinkie Pie, Rainbow Dash, Fluttershy, Sparkle and Rarity. These are your friends. Your family has lived in this town.
town known as Coneyville for a very, very long time. Granny Smith, in fact, helped found it. We're proud of this. sounds alien to you during this tape. This will be much more intense than becoming a pony as you are crossing dimensional ties. Please remain seated, remain calm. I will not be here to walk you through this time. Remain calm. destroy them. You will destroy them. 
We all destroy them. We all destroy them. We all destroy them. We all destroy them. We all destroy them. We all destroy them. We all destroy them. We all destroy them. We all destroy them. We all destroy them. We all destroy them. We all destroy them. We all destroy them. We all destroy them. We all destroy them. We all destroy them. We all destroy them. We all destroy them. We all destroy them. We all destroy them. We all destroy them. We all destroy them. We all destroy them. We all destroy them. We all destroy them. We all destroy them. We all destroy them. We all destroy them. We all destroy them. We all destroy them. We all destroy them. We all destroy them.
that. Why are you so garfield, you fat cat? You are so big and fat. Why are you so... It's time to get the off the table. You're going in for it. You stupid muff. It's time to get the off the table. You're going in for it. You stupid muff. Don't do it, garfield. That, that, star, that, star, bogey, star, bogey. Don't worry, John. I've got this shit. Sadlified. Don't do it, Garfield. That, that, star, that, star, bogey, star, bogey. Don't worry, John. I've got this shit. Sadlified. I am now going to dust and raid their fridge. Where are the food? I ain't just food. Where are the taco shells? I, 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 I ain't just food. Dust and rain them. Where you go to have her to help the Get down with the fuck I'm satisfied. Satisfied. Satisfied.
Hello, ladies. Look at your man. Now back to me. Now back at your man. Now back to me. Sadly, he isn't me. But if you stop using ladies' scented body wash and switch to Old Spice, he could smell like he's me. Look down. Back up. Where are you? You're on a boat with a man your man could smell. What's in your hand? Back at me. I have. It's an oyster with two tickets to that thing you love. Look again. The tickets are now diamonds. Anything is possible when your man smells like Old Spice and not a lady. I'm on a horse. No gym intimidation, no lumps, just $10 a month. We're not a gym, we're Planet Fitness. Good morning all, time to get into beautiful sun on this beautiful Sunday morning. It's okay for a guy to cry. The jalapeno chicken sandwich. New at Carl's Jr. And now, back to our show on The Hub. 